we highly recommend that teachers never sign up for or use an app without their school knowing about it. Students shouldn't be using any educational apps or websites that require PII unless you get written parental consent or use one of the FERPA exceptions, most likely directory information or school official. A word of caution when using the directory information exception with educational apps or websites. When using the directory information exception, you need to make sure that you are only sharing PII that is listed in your school's directory information notice and you need to make sure that none of your students have opted out of directory information. So one of the problems we've seen is cases where the teacher signs students up for an app or website and maybe they just use the student's first name and last name. You think you're only sharing directory information with the app or website, but you've got to think about the information that you share when you're using it, not just when you're registering or signing in. For example, let's say you're using an online program for math assessments and you only give the student's first name and no one in your class has opted out of directory information, so you're good, right? Well, yes, until the student starts using the app, and now you're giving them student assessment information. This is a problem because student assessment information probably isn't covered by your directory information policy, but that doesn't mean you can't use the app, just means you have to use a different exception. Oh, and it doesn't matter if you're creating the account for the student or if they're doing it themselves, Either way, data are being shared and FERPA has to be followed. For most of the apps and websites you use in your classroom, you'll probably be using the school official exception. Remember that to use the school official exception, you have to have direct control. In this case, that's most likely going to mean a contract that states the following. The student owns the data and the company can't share it or sell it with others. They have to destroy the data when they no longer need it or at your request. They can only use the data for the purpose which the school has contracted with them. Now this is where things can get a little bit tricky, especially if teachers are signing students up for apps and websites on their own without letting the school know about it. We highly recommend that teachers never sign up for or use an app without their school knowing about it. Now when you sign up for an app or website, there's usually a place where you have to click a box or a button and it says, I agree. You know, that button that appears after that long list of terms and conditions that nobody reads? That button. Once you've clicked that button, you've actually entered into a legally binding agreement on behalf of your students and your school. It's called a click wrap agreement. Now before you click that button, you, or honestly someone at your school, needs to review the company's terms and conditions and privacy policy. If they don't meet the requirements for being a school official, then you can't use this exception. That doesn't mean you can't use the program. You can still use it so long as you get written parental consent. Or if the app or website has functionality where you don't have to share student PII, that's okay. You can use it. And again, always check your school's policy about downloading educational applications. Well, I'd love to stay in chat, but my homework's due, and at least I remembered that I had homework this time. <laughs>